Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechEP and today we'll be taking a look on carbon roam for OnePlus 3 and 3T devices so without wasting any time let's get started so guys this will be the first look of your room going to settings system about and here you can see the software information Android version is 8.1 with a security patch of 5th March 2018 so guys one of the stable room Everything is working fine including old services. I did not find any kind of lags on this. I have played heavy games also which I'll show you in the later part. It comes pre-installed with the Pixel Launcher Modded 1 and here you can customize the launcher by long pressing the home screen. After that quick setting tiles remains the same. Now talking about camera it has lots of options here. Tap this and you can see portrait landscape. Portrait mode is not working in this camera. Pro mode bokeh effect many things are there and if you want to change the settings you can go here and it also supports 4k video quality so guys all the links are mentioned in the description below you can download from there it comes pre-installed with omni clock vanilla music player so now let's go to the settings and show you the customization options first going to display advance and this room also has always on display so you can enable it from here and there are two options one is always on display and then you have new notifications so the screen will light up when there is a new notification available but if you want your screen to be always on then you can enable the first option and leave it so here you can see time and date is available along with the battery percentage double tap to wake is working fine and all the customization options related to the room under this option called fibers which includes system status bar lock screen button gestures privacy and security going to system here you have enable advanced restart so whenever you press this button going to restart here you can get options like system recovery bootloader you can enable that from here power menu screen off animations volume down for do not disturb so you can use the volume down button for do not disturb instead of notification slider then you have memory bar option which can be enabled and then can be found on recents immersive recents option is also available now going to status bar here you have tick on song change you have status bar items clock settings battery style notification style power menu going to lock screen here you have option to show charging info lock screen shortcuts quick unlock if you use any pin password auto face unlock face unlock is not available in this scramble pin layout going to buttons here you have option of navigation bar which can be enabled and you also have an pixel home animation so once you tap the home button you can see a pixel like animation on the navigation bar you can also edit the navigation bar from here then you have few controls of hardware buttons that is playback control toggle torch when the screen is off and after that you have advanced options so talking about gestures here you have extra carbon gestures available in this option so going inside carbon gestures here you can change the number of count of fingers so by default it comes to and as you can see right gesture means you need to swipe two fingers towards the right hand side and it will take you to recents but you also have options to change the gestures so i'll show you one of the example let's consider recents in right gesture and let me swipe two fingers towards the right hand side and you can see it opens up recents so this way you can change so this way you can set left gesture up gesture and down gestures then you have double tap to sleep on the status bar double tap to sleep on the lock screen and last one you have jump to camera now moving under privacy and security here you have option of allow trusted overlays hide applications from recent so these are the customization options available for this room along with that you also have additional button option in which you can swap the recent buttons and also you can customize the notification slider so only these many options available in this room now talking about the benchmark results going with geekbench application under this results are single core code 1727 wherein multi core code 3835 going with the antutu bench application 
and in this results are 1,28,593 so pretty good scores not bad and pretty stable ROM as of now I've been using this ROM since 3 days talking about battery backup I was not able to take the screenshot by mistake it was kept on charge so I cannot show you but almost 4 to 3 and a half hours of screen on time what I am getting on this ROM if I don't use always on display and I also played two games that is Survey Surfer and Asphalt 8. I wanted to check the device temperature. When I started the games, the device temperature was somewhere around 35. Playing game almost for 15 minutes, the device temperature raised up to 38 degree. So there was not much of heating on the device while playing games. And battery drain was somewhere around from 18 to 10%. So in 15 minutes while playing games, almost 8% has drained up. But the performance was pretty much smooth. There was no lags while playing games so if you guys want to have a stable ROM then you can install the carbon ROM on your oneplus 3 or 3t devices so guys as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video and if you like the video do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day